name is Karis. I work at Swansea University as a PhD student and I have recently published some work on um, a novel green solvent for third generation solar cells. Basically replaces a psychoactive and toxic solvent that is currently used in these devices. I think there's a couple of reasons why it's important. So first and foremost, it's a green solvent. I think it's really important to develop these technologies um, in conjunction with finding green and non-toxic things so that we don't have problems further down the line. But also um, the solvents that are currently used are restricted in some countries which hampers researcher access to materials and it can be a big problem when it comes to scientific research. So this solvent will overcome the problems that some researchers currently have with getting materials. So this is perfect for upscaling. If anything, this solvent is much better for upscaling than the previous solvents that we used. So either you've got the choice at the moment between a very highly toxic solvent, which obviously isn't ideal in a large scale setting, um, or you have the choice of GBL, which is psychoactive and legally restricted, um, which introduces a lot of legislative costs. Another advantage of this solvent is that it also is more stable in inks. So when it comes to printing and things like that, you don't get so many equipment failures, you don't get any blockages of your nozzles and things like that. So we're working on making the system better. So we're looking at mixed solvent systems, looking at applying other different green solvents as mixtures to make the cells better. Um, we're also looking at scale up at the same time. So the devices that we've made so far have been quite small scale, whereas um, obviously further down the line you're looking at larger scale modules, so iPad size modules or even 30 by 30s. Um, from a commercial perspective, that's much better.